My name is Natalie Ruiz from Lamarck, Texas, and I'm a victim of family court corruption and police abuse. I was at home with my kids, getting ready to put them to bed, and the police um, in my city came knocking at my door. They said that there was a burglar alarm going off that I didn't have. Um, I basically exercised my right to not open my door and not go outside um, because I knew that they had the wrong address. Um, they were persistent in asking me to open my door. They said they would break my door down and I told them that I understood my rights and that they wouldn't. So uh, eventually I gave them my driver's license number and they left. And two days later, CPS came knocking at my door. The police reported that I was intoxicated, that my home was in disarray, that they felt I was not capable of taking care of my own children. Um, CPS w was urging me to take a drug test and I refused to do that. Um, I did have a news report done for the situation and I didn't hear anything for a while. Um, about a month and a half later I ended up moving out from the place that I was living. And then um, I'd say about a month after that um, I got served to go to court. And when I got served there was no court date. There was um, a statement saying that I had 20 days to respond and that I had the right to get an attorney and so I thought that's what I was going to be able to do until I found an attorney that called the courthouse and found out that I did have a court date and it was the following week. So I went to court with no attorney. I refused to take the drug test and I told the judge that I wanted time to get an adequate uh, representation and they told me that if I didn't take the drug test that day that they would take my children from me. So I didn't feel like I had a choice and I gave them a hair and urine sample and I left and then a week later CPS came out again and they looked and my kids that were there and they interviewed me and I explained to them that you know it was a false alarm. Um, I had also found out that there were five other court hearings that they never told me about and they never tried to um, contact me for and I felt I strongly felt like I was being set up to fail by them not giving me the court date, by them not contacting me directly for the other court dates that they had not served me for. So eventually my results came back. Um, it took a very long time, much longer than they said it would take. They said it would take five days. It took over a month for the caseworker to finally get the results back. And um, they said that my UA was clean. I'm sorry, that my hair follicle was clean, but my UA was not. And I, I thought they were full of it. <laughs> um, I'd heard a lot of stories recently about the Harris County um, having a lot of false positives and tampering with drug tests. So little did they know, I had taken my own UA on the day before I went to court and it was clean so I was able to submit those results and my knowledge about um, people having false positives with those who use baby wash which I do and eventually they ruled my case out.